What up, guys? The Bench Brothers are back with our NFL Divisional Round Preview and Picks. As always, I have Ethan joining me this week to break down all four of these games. But before we get into it, hit that subscribe button down below to be entered into our giveaway at 500 subscribers. What's up, guys? It's Divisional Round Football this week. Last week, we had a 6-0 and week from my, my man, Zach, mm-hmm. um, picking all the games right. That's real impressive. Uh, me at a 3-3. Three and three. I'm, That's astonishing, man. 6-0 and start to the playoffs how are you feeling about that let's see if we can get it rolling um obviously that houston cleveland game was probably the biggest toss-up that we had and obviously cleveland did not show up for that playoff game um not other, at all. though i think all the i mean obviously the packers game was a big upset that both you and i picked but after that i think it kind of was really there for the taking um obviously you kind of took pittsburgh because you kind of had to you know your bias pick yeah but, that Houston and Rams game, other than that, I think that was probably the biggest coin flip as well, besides that uh, Cleveland and Houston game. And obviously, I was just on the right side of it this week. If you want to look at the locks of the week, I also got you there, too, by yes. one pick, and that was the over. Obviously, didn't hit in that Rams-Lions game. Uh, but you just got screwed on the Browns, obviously not winning. And no. they cover, obviously, they didn't show up at all. Um, and yeah. then those Steelers, they had a chance to cover. They fought their way back in it, but just lost that late. Yeah, obviously both of us had the four and a half of the Chiefs, but we went other directions there for the win. So we'll yeah. talk about what you got this week in your picks. All right. So this week we got a couple of the same picks. Um, my first two Houston plus nine and a half. I think they're going to keep it close. Um, so I like that nine and a half point spread. And then Green Bay, same situation. You see a, a lot of these teams. I think the 49ers and Ravens will be coming out a little sluggish if, to start. So I think these games are going to be tight, and I like the underdogs. Um, and then Christian McCaffrey, that's anytime touchdown. Tampa Bay, Detroit, under 49 points. I think it's going to be right around that mark, along with Casey and Buffalo over. Uh, I think that's going to be right around there as well. So a couple of good lines, but I got the under in Tampa Bay, Detroit, and then the over in Casey and Buffalo. Yeah, I'm liking the over in that Houston and Baltimore game because I don't think there's a way that CJ Stroud and the Texans don't score more than 20 points. And I think the Ravens are going to probably put up at least 24 to 27. Um, and just if that happens and that's already the over. And then I also like Houston covering the nine and a half. Nine and a half is a lot of points in the NFL. And yeah. the road after what Houston did last week, then Lamar's playoff struggles. He's one and three in the playoffs. You never know what could happen here. And that's why I do like the points there. Same for my Packers, nine and a half. Obviously, you like him as well. And, yep. you know, after last week, it's kind of tough to bet against a team that went into someone else's place and just dominated them. And then where we go different is the Bucks. I don't like them going into Detroit. I think after last week's game, that was the, you know, if they can win that one, then why can't they win the others? Because that was the biggest hurdle they had to face winning their first playoff game. Now that monkey is off their back and they can just go full throttle. And I think they're going to do it this week. Can't bet against Mahomes in the spread. I think, you know, against the spread in the playoffs, I think he is crazy ridiculous and has uh, a winning record against the spread. So I got to go against the Chiefs for there. And then our first game, I am obviously still going with the Ravens here to win this game. I am betting on Lamar to win this game, to get to the AFC Championship. Clear-cut best team in football right now. The defense, now that that the Browns are out and they got humiliated by the Texans, actually. uh, The Ravens have the best defense in the playoffs remaining. And I think it's going to come here in the fourth quarter when it matters most. They're going to show up. And like Ray Lewis said, defense wins championships. Yeah, I also like the Ravens in this game. Uh, I think they're just the better overall team, like you said. I think the Ravens are going to be able to throw a lot of different packages out uh, for C.J. Stroud and really confuse him a little bit. I I still think C.J. Stroud's going to have quite a game, but not enough to defeat the Ravens. Uh, But another note, I, I like Houston's defense as well. They've improved a lot over the year. Uh, with defensive rookie of the year, Will Anderson. Uh, I think they're going to be able to create pressure and make it tough on Lamar as well. So I think it's going to be a lower scoring game and both quarterbacks are going to play well, but I'm going to take the Ravens at a close one. And then at night, my Packers go on the road to face the Niners. And, you know, obviously I got to pick my Packers. You know, it just would be wrong of me if I didn't take the Packers here in just the weekly picks. And why not? Why can't they do it two in a row? I know this team has struggled in recent years against the 49ers in the playoffs. Aaron Rodgers hasn't had their number. Uh, I think it was 2022, 2021, and then 2019. I think they all lost to the Niners. So three out of the last four years, they've been eliminated by the Niners. And I think this is the year that they change it. Maybe new quarterback, 
new luck in the playoffs. I got to go with the Niners here, and I do like Green Bay as well. They've they've had a great run here, and I wouldn't be surprised at all if uh, this game is close and Green Bay ends up winning in the end um, just because of the quarterback. I mean, I think Jordan loves much better than Brock Purdy, and I'm sure you think the same thing. Uh, but just the surrounding talent and that 49ers defense, I think they'll be able to blitz Jordan Love a lot and get to him. Uh, so I think they're going to make it tough on him this week. And I think their offense is going to roll. Uh, it's going to be a tough environment for Green Bay going into San Francisco. Uh, very far drive. They're going to be packed with Niners fans. Uh, so home field advantage will be a key here as well. So I got to take the Niners. Then moving to Sunday at 3 o'clock on NBC, Bucks go into Detroit. And, you know, they're going to look to pull off an upset here. So they're almost a touchdown underdog. And I think the Lions are going to come out the first possession to the end of the game. They are just going to dominate the Bucs. I mean, the only way the Bucs can keep this close, I think, if they can get in a high-scoring affair. Um, and, you know, last week, if they do what they did last week, then maybe that's going to change my mind. But I don't see the Bucks' offense repeating that. And I can see the Lions putting up at least 30 on this Tampa team because we've seen it time and time again from this Lions team. They are not afraid to go for it on those close fourth downs. And a lot of teams where they punt and the Lions go for it, get it, and then it tends to lead to points. And I think this is one of those games where it – that does help Dan Campbell uh, moving forward, and they get a big win at home to possibly host. If my picks are correct, they will host an NFC Championship game. Yeah, I'm going to take the Lions as well, but I do like this Tampa Bay front front seven, and I think they're going to be able to create pressure on Goff as well. And Goff against pressure is not good. He is good at home, so uh, I do think he's going to do enough. Uh, and it, this defense won't hold up for long. I definitely like the Bucks defense and. Uh, if Mike Evans, if they can get some big passes down the down the field on Mike Evans, I, I do think they can keep it close. But Detroit at home haven't won a playoff game since who knows how long. It's been a while for sure. I think they're going to win two this year and advance to the NFC Championship. And then the last game, probably the biggest of them all this year in the divisional round, Chiefs, Bills, and this time it's the other way around. Kansas City's going to Buffalo. And it's Mahomes' first ever playoff game on the road. And obviously, you're going to hear about it all week as, you know, a lot of the media has been talking about it. But I don't think it's going to matter. As you can see there, I'm taking the Chiefs on the road. We're starting to figure out that Mahomes is the new Brady no matter what time of the year, how bad the team is. You just can't bet against Mahomes. And he shows up when it matters most. And this last week, that defense on how they stopped the Dolphins, the speed and the high-flying offense, they just had no answer. Uh, that offense for the defense in the second half. And Steve Spagnola, he's going to have a great game plan. And without Gabe Davis, I think the Bills are in trouble because normally he eliminates your top receiver uh, that he can. So it's either going to come down to James Cook or Dalton Kincaid. And that's a big question mark for me. And I know it's at home in Buffalo, but Mahomes is ready to get out there and get his first playoff win. And I think he does so. Yeah, he's also 5-0 and in the divisional round. So if my pick is right, which I'm going with the Bills, he, he'll be 5-1. and one. Uh, I just think this is this is the year that they have to beat the Chiefs. They haven't been playing well. They finally get them at home. Um, and I, and I, think, I think they're going to do it this year, and I think they're going to beat the Chiefs. It's going to take a big game from Josh Allen. He might need a hero with the cape type of game because um, this Chiefs defense is very tough and a little solid, probably the second best defense behind the Ravens left in the playoffs. So – um, and obviously with Mahomes, but this is going to be a close game and it's going to come down to the final drive, maybe even some overtime football. Uh, but I got to take the home team and I'm rocking with Bill's Mafia this week. So let's ride. And that's going to be it for our divisional round preview and picks. Come back next week as we pick the AFC and NFC championship and to see how we did for this week's picks. But until the next time, the bench buddies are out.